What's up, everybody? Welcome to Cinema Trip Reviews. I am Wyatt, and before we get into today's episode, I just want to take a moment to thank every single one of you for supporting this channel over the past year and a half, two years. Uh, for those who don't know, we did hit 500 subs a couple days ago, which it may not sound like a huge deal, but it is a big deal to us just because of how much work we put in here. Uh, it is a lot of fun. I give you, we have a ton of fun making these reviews and everything, but it does take a lot of work going in and editing and everything. Uh, so, I mean, your support means the world to us, and this 500 subs means the world to us as well. And I just want to let you know we're not trying to stop anytime soon. We have an absolute blast doing this. Uh, we're looking forward to the future, having a lot more guests on, a lot of different guests that haven't been on the channel here, and just reviewing a ton more movies that we either we haven't seen or just some from franchises that we haven't gotten to cover on the channel. There is a lot more to come, and we're really looking forward to bringing you a lot more content. Um, but once again, I just cannot stress enough how much we are appreciative of everybody tuning in and checking out the channel or, or sharing it with your friends or just even watching a couple minutes of one of our episodes. You know, it really means a lot to us. So, I mean, the support is greatly appreciated. And if you haven't already, make sure to go check out our live stream we did on Friday. It was the very first live stream we've ever done. Uh, that's where this review comes comes from we did a review of the stepfather 1987 in that live stream uh so we wanted to kind of cut it out and post it as its own single review that way a lot of people didn't have to go check out a three-hour uh live stream just to watch a review we wanted to put it out you know as a single review for people to watch uh, but i do recommend going to check out that live stream though we did a lot we had a lot of fun with that vernon and alex who do a lot of these reviews with me hopped on you know we talked about halloween memories we talked about horror movies that we watched over the past month we did a, a can halloween candy tier ranking which took far too long and we kind of got you know got heated got some arguments in there about which candies deserve to be where you know i highly recommend going check that out it was an absolute blast to hang out like i said it was like three hours long we went over we went overboard with it a little bit, but you know, it was the first live stream on the channel, you know, it kind of makes sense, you know, and, but we are looking to do some more live streams in the future as well. Uh, so be on the lookout for that. But today's review is the stepfather from 1987 and I hope everybody enjoys it. The Stepfather <laughs> <Yo>. <laughs> from 1987. I've never seen that, that is... trailer before. I watched a movie last night. I didn't see the trailer first. I wanted to go in blind. What the hell, man? Like, this movie was wild. Oh, it was it was really interesting. This was a first time watch for me as well. Uh, this movie is directed by Joseph Rubin. He, he also directed Sleeping with the Enemy and The Good Son. I've heard of both those movies. I know The Good Son has like Macaulay Culkin in it. Uh, Sleeping in it with the Enemy, I, I believe has Julia Roberts in it. It's not one I've I've seen, but I have heard of it. This movie does star Terry O'Quinn as Jerry Blake, who is pretty much runs the show. He is the driving yeah. force of this movie. And boy, does he does an, a, an amazing job. <laughs> he is amazing in this movie. Uh, you got Shelly Hack as Susan, his wife in it. Uh, you got jill schloan i don't know how you pronounce her last name i'm sorry as uh, stephanie and uh steven shellen as jim but the basic gist as you saw in the trailer pretty much jerry blake played by terry o'quinn is a stepfather and when his family disappoints him <laughs> he gets really upset man <laughs> he gets, he gets very upset like more he upset than a normal stepfather would super <laughs> upset and he's got to take care got to take care of the problem so like as soon as he gets upset that's what he's like he goes he quits his job finds a new job somewhere else like on a different town somewhere gets all of his priorities settled finds a new house and everything and then he goes you know just butchers his whole family shaves his face shaves his head like, cleans up his spirits his looks different period. moves to a different town finds another family and just Dude becomes another stepfather certified psychopath okay like should be locked up <laughs> should be shot should be whatever you think like but should not be free to roam the society and continue no. his fucking ugh, god it's kind of like a it's kind of like a character study movie because you're really following him yeah the whole movie itself and you get to really see in the mind of this just psychopath that tries to be normal that has puts on this facade for everybody even himself he tries to fool himself too yeah he but doesn't I mean, even know what the fuck he is yeah it's it's something that like it really reminds me because i was really huge into dexter i don't know if you ever watched dexter whenever i've watched a few but not, not all of it yeah, it kind of reminds me in a way like that. But, I mean, Dexter, he's killed bad people. He wasn't just out here killing everybody and killing his family and stuff. But, I mean, right. uh, it kind of reminds me in a way as, like, as far as that kind of character study where you're following 
this type of individual and seeing inside their head and what their, the their methods and motives and... are and everything right 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 the beginning of it is great because i mean you have like this like what you would imagine just like this kind of like well family opens... type like m music that's bouncy and everything when you're seeing like this like nice little neighborhood and everything and warn everybody watching though it opens with man dick okay the first like the first thing you see on the screen is man dick so don't that's watch not true kids. It's like maybe like the third thing you see on the screen is man dick. Okay, so don't watch you know, it with your kids. Barely see Eddie. That's all I'm saying is just like make sure you don't don't watch. He it gets into the shower. Yeah, <laughs> but you see but some man dick. It's it's you see the contrast because it starts off with like the happy like you know nice little family neighborhood you know, playing like kind of like what you would imagine of like a like a comedy type you know bubbly music playing and then it goes inside the house and you see him just like covered in blood and everything like okay this took a dark turn real quick and yeah. you gotta get to see his process he, you know he shaves his beard takes off all his bloody clothes and just shoves them into like this beard. big this like suitcase and make sure they don't touch anything takes a shower he goes out picks up some toys whenever he leaves and then as soon as he goes downstairs you see what happened and it's just a fucking bloodbath like you see children dead on the floor like there's blood all over the walls handprints all over the walls and shit it goes real it goes zero to 100 real quick at the beginning of this movie and you get to see what he's capable of without actually seeing really anything as far as murders yeah. go and this is how they open the movie you know this yeah. is how they're they're introducing you to this character is this is the this is what he's capable of like you're saying this is what he is and he just kind of strolls out of the house with his suitcase and just walks down the street you know like nothing like nothing's wrong you know what i mean so like it, yeah it, it, it really starts off with a really dark dark tone where it's it's kind of like well, okay what's going on you know you you figure what's going on it's called a stepfather if you see the trailer going into the movie you know what the hell's going on but it starts <laughs> yeah. off like whoa you know, like it's way more yeah. bloody than I thought it was going to be. And then it just picks up a year later. And all it is mm -hmm. is just like you're following you're, you're mainly following him, but it's also his stepdaughter now. And, you know, she sees something that her mother obviously doesn't see in him and everything. And she even sees him going on his one of his tirades in the basement. Yeah, at one it's point. Crazy. It's like, oh, but it's like at that point, you would think like maybe you should tell your mom. Like she always she always tries to warn her mom, but she doesn't tell her about like, yeah, he was down there smashing shit, yelling to talking to somebody that isn't actually there. So it's being crazy in the basement right now. I don't know if you want to go check that out or not. Like, you know, like like nothing <laughs> not even an inkling of a, a concern you know her mother's oblivious no. to all of this uh one of, one of my only real issues is they make the, the the daughter the stepdaughter out as like some kind of troublemaker or like rebel or whatever and i mean they you see her get in the fight at school where she gets expelled or whatever and i guess you hear that like this is kind of a a running thing that's why she sure. gets expelled not just suspended Pattern. yeah but you don't when see any made? of that in her character at all yeah. like when was this movie made again 87 87 so yeah it's an 80s movie like it's an older movie like like you said though like you don't see her acting like a, a kid that would be expelled from school that's what was, that like, was my I real issue know? is they make her out to be like some kind of like bad bad girl like bad kid you know and everything but like every time you see her like around other people like her friends or her mom or whatever she's not like that really at all <laughs> she's nice she's respectable she, yeah. you know like i guess I it's only in school where she's 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 bad you know i don't know ah fuck these walls <laughs> <laughs> she's in there just wilding out you know what did they do to us <laughs> <laughs> I don't like that was really my only issue because I really enjoyed the movie overall, man. I thought it was a it was a really good time just because I didn't know really what to expect as it was going Dude. on. Because I mean, she sees in the paper about like someone wrote an article bringing up those murders from a year previous and everything, and she's like, "Wait a minute!" Like that's just a, she just wants to kind of she's a little weirded out because she saw him, you know, having that rampage in the basement and shit so yeah. she goes she even like Suspicious. messages the paper to get a picture of the guy and of course like bro he gets to the mail first and he sees like she is looking into him and everything so he's well, like trying to cover his tracks she's going to therapy out. and everything and then the therapist starts looking into him because he starts suspecting something and then like you have a whole that whole scene with the therapist where he goes to show him that house is so tense and then he gets trapped in that. He gets caught in that lie that he tells him where he's like single and everything. And then he says like, oh, my wife. He's like, wait a minute. I thought you said you were single. He's like, oh, shit. 
what do I do now? He's like, you're not really here to buy a house, are you, mister? Yeah, I like, personally, I didn't even realize that was the fucking therapist, bro. I did. You saw it was a random dude. <laughs> I I was just I thought he was selling a house. I thought it was just to see where he was selling a house, and then like until he got the ID and read that shit, and I was just like, <gasps> yeah. Then <laughs> eventually the the stepdaughter she goes to like the office, sneaks into his office, and sees the address and everything. Yeah, like, he, like where he was gonna bed, meet, but... like meet Jerry at you know such and such address. And that's where she starts putting the pieces and everything together too. But man, like you have that huge blow up too. Cause she like starts to get a boyfriend. Like she actually starts liking someone and she gives her just like a kiss. Good night. And dude comes out acting like dude's trying to like rape her or something. I know. Like, dude, what are you doing? <laughs> he gave her a kiss. He flips out. He's like, Oh, he's pretty much raping her on the porch. And he like, like you said, he just gave her an innocent kiss. Good night. It wasn't like it wasn't anything outrageous, you know what I mean? We already Nothing. saw a dude walk through a living room full of bodies, and he's freaking out about this, you know? Like, get the fuck out of here! This dude is certified. <laughs> well, the whole so. thing is his perfect family. That's like his big thing. He's like, you gotta have the perfect family. If it's not perfect, it's not right. Shit. And like he saw, he sees one little flaw, he's gotta correct it somehow. Yeah, and I mean, boy, was that a huge flaw? But like, that's when the mother starts like. Like you need to chill, dude. <laughs> like, yeah, like free, you, you're freaking out. Like I've known him longer. I've known that boy since I've we're way longer than I've known you. Yeah. So get the hell out of here, you know. But like, mom even ends up smacking her because she like says like I don't know why you like what you don't see in this guy. Like obviously something's wrong and you're just not seeing it. And she ends up like smacking her and everything. Yeah. But man, I would say the biggest like oh shit moment of the movie was like whenever. He starts like, all right, I need to fix this. Like this, this family is, we've reached our, our breaking point at this, at this point. Cause at that, like up and whenever they had the blow up on that porch, if things were kind of starting to get better between them, because like they, he, they kind of bonded over the <laughs> uh, psychiatrist dying. <laughs> and like, like build in the bird house here for you. Like build, build in the bird, bird house, house and everything. They're starting so, like, to bond a little bit. And then he has that blow up us. and like the mom says, like, look at you, Jerry, you, you ruined everything. Like you guys were going so well. And now you just, you're starting you from square one again. So Jerry's just like, and like, she just shuts the door on it. Like, and I'm just like, yo, he's just like, and that's this like, dude's going crazy, crazy, you know? Well, yeah, that's when you like you see him walk up like almost directly to the camera, and he's just like you can see it in his eyes, looking right at the camera. He he makes his decision, like, all right, I'm moving on. Yep, (laughs) and that's when he fucking quits his job. (laughs) He quits his job, gets on that fucking boat, that ferry across the river, goes to like get another job, get another house. He gets (laughs) in the fucking bathroom and like takes his toupee off, which we Mm -hmm. didn't even know this whole time that he even had a fucking toupee. So, like, he's got a different fucking, like, hair, like, he's balding, you know, underneath there. Puts on a little mustache and some big-ass glass. It looks like a completely different fucking person. And I'm like, this <laughs> motherfucker. And he goes and he starts hitting on another single mom. And I'm like, Right no. next door, yeah. No. Like, but oh, yeah, the, the biggest, like, oh, shit twist of them, like, was when, like, the wife calls his work. And says like, yeah, dude doesn't even work here. He quit like last what? week. And she's like, what? That can't be possible. And then she like confronts him about it or whatever. He's like, what? He's like, no, that can't be true. That's that damn, that new receptionist or whatever. He's like, she's crazy. And he's like, I'm going to call her right now. And she's like, well, maybe she just got the name wrong. And then he like, how could he get the name? Like, I was it, like Rogers or whatever wrong. And she, and it's not their last name. Hodgkins, what's to get wrong? What did you say? Wait a minute. Who am I here? It's he, like you see in the poster up there, like the who am I here and in the trailer. It's like, yeah, that's he what he says. says that, and you're like, like, this dude is so caught up. Like he forgets where he's at in this time. Like as far as like what family that he's with. Has he exactly. done this? Is this like his fourth family, his third, his fifth? Who knows? But like he is so caught up that he even forgets what his name is at this with this family. <laughs> yeah, it's insane, and, man. But- yeah. He and she's like, knows. wait a minute, what'd you say? A dude just turns around, just cracks her with that phone. He's like, huh. like... <laughs> <laughs> but like he knows his cover's blown, so he just gives in at that point. He's like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, oh. Now, the other big issue I had was you have this very minor subplot through the movie of the family that you see him kill at the beginning of the movie. The wife that he killed like, has yeah. a brother. <laughs> And throughout the course of this movie, this brother is just always pissed off running through places and just like, I need this information now. I'm trying to figure out where this guy is. Like, this dude is so intense 
all the time. I do all the marriage all the records of the last year. Like this guy comes it was so through. intense. But I understand where he's coming from because, like you said, like if it, it, it was a sister's family, you know what I mean. So like he, yeah. And if he's already but, in this like field, I don't know. Is he a cop just, or what? You don't really no. Know he's just no. He's he just inherits the standing. house. He inherits the house that the okay. murders took place in and everything. And that's where he befriends the reporter that wrote that article, like talking about the murders from the year previous. Okay. And that's where he's like, put the, like, I want you to kind of dig up the case again, start talking about it. Maybe people will, will put his picture in the paper. Maybe people will recognize him and we'll catch him. And he wasn't able to put the picture in the paper at that point. But right. the issue is you barely see this dude. Like it is a very small plot point he through this movie. In out pops in and out. Yeah. And oh, that yeah. is fine if there is some resolution to this issue. Dude. Bro, <laughs> the biggest issue is he gets to the door, opens it up, confronts dude, and gets immediately stabbed and dies. <laughs> there's no, there's like no fight at yeah. all. This whole time. Like, I was expecting him to like. Get to up be and the hero, the the to be to, the hero, to be the hero at the end of the fucking movie. I was fully <laughs> expecting this guy to come through, and because right when shit's popping off at the house is when he's getting close. You yeah. know what I mean? So like he's getting close and he's like knocking on the door. He had already fucked up the wife at this point. You know what I mean? Well, it's like even after getting stabbed, I expected him to like come back and save the day in some capacity. But nope, dude's no. just dead. Dude's just, just done. <laughs> build up all movie for this guy. Just get to the door. Nothing. Get Instantly guy, killed. And he gets killed. Like, it's like, what was the point of all this? <laughs> hey, I was fine with it though because it like it it wasn't I was not expecting that. So like it kind of like threw me through. Another thing loop. I wasn't expecting, they had a full like damn near full frontal nudity shot of the stepdaughter. Yeah. Within the last ten minutes of the movie, <laughs> for no in, reason, for no reason whatsoever, they, they put it in. They're like, "Oh, wait a minute, we that, didn't show boobs through this whole movie." <laughs> the shit that kind of bothered me about that shit too, because I thought it was like a little weird. This whole this whole movie was a little weird to me, bro. Because of like the stepfather shit, like yeah. it was all fucking weird to me. But like, he's always they saying, already like, established that she was daddy's like, little girl or daddy's coming or something. He's yeah. always being creepy. It reminds me of Hellraiser. They already <laughs> established that she's daddy. like 16 or something, right? Yeah. Like, they, she was played, they, she was 23 when she played the character. And I figured yeah. the actress was of age, but like, they already they had a line of dialogue in the movie establishing her age. And they mm-hmm. fucking still had this scene in the movie where I was just like, it's a little weird. It's a little it was weird. really That's weird. All, that's all I'm saying. Like, but like, it it felt unnecessary. And like, I everybody loves some, everybody loves some boobies, you know what I mean? But it just felt super unnecessary. Where I was like, Especially like within the last like within the last ten minutes of the movie, it was like it felt like they were like, oh wait, we, we got to show some boobies in here. Oh, <laughs> like, we didn't put any boobs in this PG movie. Have like, her get a shower before rated. he starts attacking her. But like you know, the, you know how it was like back then. The ratings were a little more lax too, so they were just like, yeah, oh, yeah we got the boobs in this shit. It's good, Bob. Yeah, boobs got to be in here somewhere. But no even, like, while he was attacking her, because, like, he attacks her through the bathroom, and I, it's so funny, because, like, she runs in the bathroom and shuts the door, and he's, like, having a tantrum, like, that. he's like, Let me out. This is my favorite scene. This is my favorite scene when he, because he's banging on the fucking door, right? And there's a mirror on the other side of the door, like, in the bathroom. Smashes. And he, like, bangs through this door, and he busts through the fucking mirror. And I'm just like, yo, that was kind of cool. I, I like that shit. And she was smart, though. She, like, took a towel and wrapped it around a piece of that glass and uses it to stab him. Yeah. Like, it was, it was pretty smart. She fucks him up. But she stabs him in the fucking arm. Like, right? bitch, like, you should have, like, the torso. <laughs> the chest. Yeah, How did you even... Where... Hit that, like you know what I mean. How did you even do that? Yeah. You know, like and during all this, I expected that dude to wake, you know, wake up and just like come to the rescue or something. But it's it's the mom, the one that gets like smashed in the face with a phone and gets kicked down the base of the stairs. She ends up crawling all the way upstairs and ends up shooting him with the dude's gun that he had yep. in his pocket. Yep, um, that's the dude's gun. So he gets stabbed and then he gets shot and he rolls down them stairs and he's up against them. And they still went up and made a sequel. He's in the sequel. <laughs> <laughs> there's a stepfather too oh shit we're gonna have to do that because i need to see the second one I need yeah to see i haven't seen i mean this goes. was the first time watched for me but yeah there's yeah. That, there is a sequel we gotta get to eventually i had no um, idea this even existed i was like okay yeah i'm, I'm down and the Don't whole time up. i kept well, i was watching this movie i mean terry o'quinn like i mentioned he is 
awesome. He is absolutely great in this movie because he's he does that like he could switch from being that like that facade that that happy go lucky father figure like around guests and company and everything, and he switches like flicks that switch so fast to just being that like. Right, we like, kind of skipped over that part where he's there. There's this one scene in the movie where they have a like a barbecue. They're in a backyard in their backyard and he's he's like you know he's got the apron on he's joking around with everybody he like he wants a picture with his family his happy family he's the be- like and it's so weird because like and then they hand him a newspaper that's got an article about the killer that article the about he's yeah like freaking out and he kind of like turns it back he, off he folds that part of the the paper over so nobody can read or whatever but, but you can see he's, hat, he's you know? working he's like oh shit why are they bringing this up <laughs> right, and that's when he goes down into the basement and he's like son of a bitch <laughs> but th- is, th- is that when she sees him yeah because she goes down to get some food or whatever yeah, yeah, yeah. okay oh gotcha um, gotcha but he reminds me like because he ended up doing like a bunch of other stuff he was mainly like in lost from what i remember um i never really got into lost nah, i know i mean it was either. a huge tv show but i know he was in lost he was in a bunch of other stuff as well but his like just the way his jawline in and his face in this movie he reminds me of the dude to fucking that plays mcgruber oh <laughs> yeah for sure MacGruber. what's his name uh will forte so if they ever made i know they'd have a remake of the stepfather that came out in like 2009 i never saw it like a uh, parker from Dutch like that film mentioned i never saw that remake i do know it had the dude from nip tuck which i actually really dug nip tuck from back in the day uh if they ever remake this movie will forte should be the stepfather because I, I, mean, I feel like he would be great he'd be the perfect <laughs> actor for it and this is loosely loosely based on a true story in a way uh, that's the, the reason they got the idea for it. Apparently, it's based off of John, a guy named John List, who in 1971 ended up pretty much similar. He ended up quitting his job and ended up like his wife didn't even know he quit his job. Like he was going around doing other stuff during the day, setting all this stuff up, ended up murdering his whole family and then just changed his appearance and went on and moved on and I'm getting married. And he never ended up killing another family or anything like that, but he ended up just pretty much switching identities and they didn't catch him until 1989 so it was oh from 1971 God. through 1989 he was with a whole nother family 18 and he, years yeah and like he butchered That's his like, whole family he had, a catch kid. Him. he had a kid and he turns 18 like you know what i mean i'm at, oh my god jesus christ yeah so he had a whole nother family and everything but like i guess he didn't he wasn't he didn't go on like another killing spree it wasn't like this where it's just family to family to family or anything luckily yeah. but yeah it took him like 18 years to catch this dude i was like holy shit dude that's At least wild they got him. yeah but it's loosely based on that but man I, I mean all in all we're not gonna keep this too much longer but it, it was a really good movie i really I, i've heard great things about this over the over the years it is i saw it was like in entertainment weeklies like top like 100 horror movies of all time type thing and i wouldn't necessarily it is like a a super scary movie by any means i wouldn't like it is kind of a horror movie i like i mentioned it's it's more of like an in-depth like character study on this guy um there are certainly movie yeah and there's certainly creepy moments in it too because like this is something you could like i mentioned it's based off a true story it's stuff that could actually happen like yeah and it's even scarier to know there's people out there that's like this. Fuck, man. I, like I said, it's, it was just a creepy. This dude's a goddamn creep, you know? Like, so, like, I'm glad <laughs> that the based on the true story, I'm glad that dude got caught regardless and he's not going to, you know, continue on to do all of his fucking weird fantasies and all that shit, you know? Yeah. God damn it. But yeah, uh, I, I really enjoyed this, though. I highly recommend going and check this out. Out of a buy it, rent or miss it, what would you say here, Vern? I personally would say rent it you know for sure don't miss this movie um it would it would be one that you'd be kind of like it, it's something that you should should at least watch once it's, it's very interesting it's it's well paced i think i didn't th- feel like it was like too long or ever dragging on or anything like that so i was definitely engaged the whole time definitely yeah. rent it i personally probably wouldn't buy it i'd be like eh you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna go yeah. ahead and stream this one. You know. Yeah, I would say the same thing. I wouldn't say you necessarily need to add it to your collection, but definitely don't miss it, especially yeah, if you're a fan of it. like thrillers, psychological thrillers, or, or that type of thing, or horror movies. It's 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 a great movie. I mean, some of the other acting in the movie is is very spotty, but man, yeah, but it's Terry O'Quinn as the title character of the stepfather. He is good enough. He carries the movie on his back, and you're following right. him pretty much 
over 90 percent of the movie he, he you know he carries it so i highly recommend it it's like you said it's very well paced it doesn't kind of linger too long or anything like that definitely a recommend go check it out yeah um so yeah that is the review of the stepfather make sure to go check that out i saw uh, it was apparently it's on peacock i ended up yes. watching it on shutter um, i watched it on peacock so it's definitely on peacock right now if anybody wants to check it out go on the cock you know go on the cock check it out <laughs> i ended up watching uh the joe bob briggs version on, okay. on uh the last drive in so if, if anybody's a fan of the last drive in go check out that episode and that was a review of the stepfather from 1987 let me know what you thought about the movie in the comments whether you liked it or disliked it and also make sure to like share and subscribe go check us out on social medias at twitter and instagram at cinema trip reviews also wherever you get your podcast drop in and leave us a good review there and we'll see everybody next time